ever since I was little, you know, I'm always in the kitchen with my mother. My mother will always tell me, go play with the kids. And I always say, no, I don't want to play. I want to learn how to cook. So it, it just motivated me to become, you know, a chef. I work at the Peninsula, New York, as a five-star, five-diamond hotel. We as a chef, well, first of all, she's a fantastic person and has a great uh, personality, a lot of passion for what she's doing, uh, which is very important in the kitchen. I come from Ethiopia, but I grew up in the village, a little town uh, called Dukam. It's an hour from Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia. We're a big family, nine brothers and sisters. My father is a farmer, and when I was 11, uh, my parents, they wanted uh, the best life for me. So I was adopted by my uncle, who lives in Addis Ababa. I didn't know how to write or read, and I didn't uh, speak the, the city language. I spoke another language. And then from there, my uncle decided to bring the family to America. When I came, they say she's 13, so she has to be in the seventh grade. I didn't know anything. I just knew yes or no. I caught up in eighth grade. So from high school, I graduated with honors. And I graduated uh, magna cum laude from college also. I like to describe Kubi as uh, delicious. That's my word for her. Mrs. Shively, how are you? Kubi, welcome back. Thank you. It's so good to see you. So, how you been? I mean, I still come and visit it even after five years I left the school. I mean, it's like my house, basically. Kubi won the Les Damster Scoffier Award, which is a prestigious award. Les Damster Scoffier is a group of uh, women chefs and executives in the food world who will then guide and mentor Kubi uh, through her career. It is my absolute pleasure to have you here and for us to celebrate one of our Legacy Award winners and her family because she, it's always generational, always. Do we want to keep the fermentation in, in the inside? So there's Mama's doing it. Since childhood she likes cooking. And she was capturing everything I showed her. I tried to advise her to go to her for another lesson. Yes. But she, she refused. Said, nope, she refused. I want to be a chef. Yeah. And then my husband insisted that if she has her interest, let's go. And that's how we did end up like, you know, the, the Kubi that today, she was a big chef in New York. Oh, and then, thank uh, you. <laughs> Ethiopian food, you have to make it from the bottom of your heart because it's something to enjoy as a family. So I like making the food and hopefully in the long run, soon I open my own restaurant, uh, Ethiopian Italian cuisine. So that's my dream. <laughs> so you cut off a piece, I don't know how big you want to eat, but small piece, then the two fingers go in the middle, pick up, then fold the other one, then like that, and then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>